top of the brood box here. The brood box is where all the eggs are laid, where the queen lays all the eggs. And we put the queen excluder between the brood box and these supers that contain the honey on top so that the queen can't get up into those um, honey supers and lay eggs there. And, um, and that honey, it's either their food or it becomes our crop if we have any spare. So we're taking the queen excluder off now and what we'll do next is we'll go through the brood box frame by frame and what we usually check for is firstly that they've got plenty of food, secondly that there's no disease in, in the hive and um, if there is we identify it and we take appropriate action. With our queen, our queen is clipped and, um, and we know um, and assured by the British Beekeepers Association that um, clipping the Queen's wings, it doesn't harm the Queen at all. And, um, and we clip the Queen because it helps us control swarming. Um, because if the Queen can't fly away, then um, the bees won't go anywhere. They might tempt to swarm, but if they suddenly look around and find that the queen's not there, they can't smell her pheromones, they go, okay, let's go back and find her, and they'll come back to the hive. We've noticed that we have a lot of drone brood this year, and um, a little bit more than usual. We don't have anything to worry about, we've got plenty of worker brood as well. And, um, but yeah, the, the drones don't really do too much, you know, they're only here for one reason and that's to mate with the queen. And so once that job is done, that, the lucky drones that manage to mate queens, then they die sadly. Um, but the other drones that are still remain in the hive, they just really sit around the rest of the year watching telly, putting their feet up and eating all the food. So. Um, not much use otherwise, guys. The amount of honey that we get each year actually varies enormously. Last year we got over 300 jars. Um, the previous year I think we only got about 25 jars. And it just depends on the weather, what the bees are doing, and um, we can't predict it. And it's not just us, it's all beekeepers I think find the same. Delicious. Fulham Palace honey is raw honey which means that it's never treated with any heat. We just get it out of the hive and it just falls into the jars by gravity. Whereas the supermarket stuff is all heated up and boiled for ages that gets rid of all the good enzymes and stuff. <laughs>